Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Clan. My gosh, do we have a little bit of a intense situation, so to speak, where actually our entire royal royal lineage uh, died again. Um, and considering our previous queen B, she uh, didn't want to really let any strangers in we're we're kind of low on low on cats here <laughs> so i will try my absolute best to get this kingdom up and running again and sir jet well i suppose technically it's sir jet who's doing it so he of course is pretty loyal to queen b also pretty loyal to quartz i think he in the end decided that he will now let strangers in and for now i'm not sure if egret survives because she has quite a lot of things here hold, hold on conditions there we go she has um well she has raspy lungs as a permanent condition hitting white cough and a claw wound as well so we'll kind of see how that goes but i did actually put up a poll you guys to decide who becomes the um like starter of the royal lineage and you guys actually said the first born or found kitten so hopefully we will have some kittens <laughs> especially because we don't have any medicine cats either and as you guys know it um <laughs> We can only choose medicine cat or well, kittens under three moons to become medicine cats. So we shall see how that goes. But for now, let's try our best to just survive. <laughs> so we do have Knight Basalt who's gonna go out with Dawn. They're gonna go on a random patrol type, of course, and they find some fish. Unfortunately, they don't even get the prey, so the entire kingdom is just kind of in disarray here. But we will try our best and hopefully they can all survive. I will, for now, actually name Egret Acting Queen. Um, she's kind of with Sir Jet on this one. Uh, so they're gonna kind of decide things together and such. But because she was so close to Quartz, the uh, crown princess, uh, she kind of has a little bit more authority just when it comes to deciding things in the clan. So she... or well, in the kingdom. And Sir Jet would probably be pretty happy that she kind of knows what Quartz would want. So let's do our first moon skip here. Um, Knight Ingot no longer has any or any uh, white cough. Um, and Egret actually... Okay, so both Egret and Knight Tsunami have healed from their claw wounds. Uh, and they both got scars from it, so that's pretty cool. And Queen Egret... Well, acting Queen Egret no longer has a white cough. Okay, yeah, so she's healthy. That was... Well, she's still depressed, uh, obviously. She's grief-stricken because her mate died. But that was a little bit anticlimactic. I thought everything was going to go wrong again. Oh, but she actually has a large scar on her cheek now. So when she does get demoted from acting queen, when we find the royal lineage, at least she will be a knight. And my gosh, Tsunami! Uh, what? That is quite the intense scar you have there. I'm surprised you survived. My gosh. Okay, well, now we have a couple more. Night Tsunami is probably... I mean, except for Night Ingot, who's retiring uh, soon. Yeah, see, he wants to critique Night Tsunami's fighting techniques. I think he's kind of mentoring her, honestly. <gasps> Maybe we could... Oh, What if we have, like, a general... You know, of the knights, like a commander. <gasps> ooh, okay. I, I just, ooh, that sounded really fun. Okay, well, we'll have a commander, I think. Um, if we can, I think, yeah, we, 
I'm gonna change this to Commander Ingot. I think that's how you spell it at least. <laughs> okay, so Ingot is now the commander. Or actually, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I'm I'm flying all over the place here. Uh, knight, there we go. Knight Ingot. I think Sir Jet uh, decided that we will create a new position um, since everything's going so horribly right now. So, Tsunami, you're actually going to become commander. Uh, I think I think that's pretty fun. I I kind of like that idea. <laughs> so now we have a commander who I mean functions the same as the knight. It's just they have a lot more um, authority here in the kingdom. So commander tsunami um, and knight basalt. It seems they are going to practice some fighting techniques and they do really well actually. Don. You have to proceed whatever happens, so I'm just gonna proceed you. <gasps> Maybe- okay, okay, okay. I have one idea for the commander. The commander is only allowed- well, in general, unless there's like a story thing where they actually go out of their way to interact with someone else. They are only allowed to go on patrols with, um, with other knights. I think that's a really fun idea. Okay, anywho, um... That seems to be it. And oh yeah, also I forgot almost. <laughs> Someone actually wanted to see what our royals and the kitty cats in the dark forest were talking about. And actually we have quartz as well, somewhere. Uh, she's a crown princess, but I can't seem to find her. Uh, we do have quartz though, and I was thinking that Ah, uh, here she is. Uh, I'm actually going to exile her to the Dark Forest, and I don't think it's because she got actually exiled. Oh yeah, and Willow, we oh, there's so much to do. <laughs> Willow, you're actually um, Queen Willow, Willow, because I completely forgot that, you know, well, I didn't think about the whole fact that um, King Ghost, you know, didn't name his queen actually queen. Anywho, we have prin uh, Crown, Crown Princess Quartz here, and I was kind of thinking that she willingly went to the Dark Forest because she honors King Ghost more than she honors, um, well, the, the rest of these uh, royals. She's like, oh, well, King Ghost was way better. So King Ghost and Queen Willow are not royals, but they lead the Dark Forest together. So that's pretty fun. Um, and I guess here she's not crown princess, but she will still be princess quartz. I think they're just gonna... The actual royals that come up here, I think they're just gonna keep princess and prince and stuff. But, I mean, no one can really take over for ghost, considering he's kind of immortal here in this, in this land. Okay, right. Uh, anywho, what are they actually? Uh, oh, oh gosh! <laughs> Gosh, Queen Willow almost drowned in the mud. My gosh, that's like a death sentence, all right. Um, and King Ghost is fighting another member of the Dark Forest. I wonder if he got surprised Prince Quartz was here, or Princess Quartz was here. She was, um, he just kind of got shocked out of his fur. <laughs> Anywho, um, so our royal Queen Snow is telling other Starkland cats stories of the kingdom's beginning. My gosh, well that's pretty cool. Um, King Shade is acting- is proud of acting Queen Egret. Well that's nice, I guess Egret has King Shade's, um, well, blessing, I suppose. And the Queen Bee is <laughs> gossiping with fruit. Well that's nice. What about our healers? Um, Relic regrets leaving the medicine cat or the clan one medicine cat short. Well, we don't have any medicine cats, so that's fair. Wheat is worried about the clan. Healer, he Healer Heather looks after the newborns in Star Clan. Oh, Heather, that's so cute. That's so darn cute. And Night Chain also regrets leaving uh, the clan. 
or well, the kingdom short of a medicine cat, and Healer Crystal is thinking about their life. My gosh, Healer Hive as well is asking out Oakley questions about their life. And here we have Sir Onyx, who is very worried <laughs> about the clan. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Anywho, let's uh, skip another event here. Uh, oh, Knight Ingot is waking in whales and dreams of their haunt uh, because they're haunted by visions of their dead loved ones. My gosh, that's not too great. Um, Elder Aurora will always feel grief, but some time has at least softened it. That's nice. Uh, and Commander Tsunami. Uh, she has a bad leg, which is apparently feeling particularly horrible. This moon. Probably because she climbed up a tree and nearly fell out of it. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Uh, and Sir Jet is wondering if being a knight would have been more fun for him. It is possible, I suppose. <laughs> Um, Commander Tsunami, you can only go with Knight Basalt, so you two are going to go. And no one catches- oh gosh, Don, please survive this. I'm not allowed to not proceed because you're not a knight. But we really need more cats, and losing the little ones we already have would not be great. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. There is a downpour and a sudden flood from the overflowing river sweeps Dawn away. And she dies. <sighs> That's fine! That's fine. We still have, um, you know, six cats. <laughs> One of which is an elder. It's fine. It's fine. Do you actually have any living kits? Flutter. Where's Flutter? Is she out? I'm assuming she's out. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even realize Night Ingot is Tsunami's dad. That's so cool. That is so cool. Well, oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Night Ingot is dad to half the clan. I didn't even remember that Egret and Tsunami are actually siblings. Oh my gosh. And and basalt as well. Half the clan is just <laughs> half the kingdom is oh my gosh. Okay, so Knight Inga definitely can retire because the entire troop we have is literally just his kittens. The only <laughs> the only ones who aren't are his mate, who's an elder, and Sir Jet. Oh my gosh, we need more cats. We need more cats badly. <laughs> Okay, let's <laughs> let's see if we can get more. My gosh. Oh my goodness. Um let's see. Well, okay, well we have Flutter at least. Flutter has returned home. Speaking of which, um she has returned home, which is great. Uh doesn't change the whole lineage thing and uh, all that, but the the diversity per se, but you know, at least we have another knight. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Knight Ingot's constant nightmares have finally calmed. That's great. And, <laughs> oh, okay. His mate has actually announced that they are expecting kittens. I wonder if they, uh, Aurora and Knight Ingot started like, trying for kittens after they realized that Sir Jet was waiting for like a sign from their ancestors, aka the firstborn or found kitten. So I wonder if we're gonna find a kitten before these ones are born. I wonder if it's two kittens. So we have exactly one medicine cat and one leader. That would be pretty fun. Uh, Knight Basil is touching noses with a rogue. Please invite them, it's not scandalous, just bring them in. <laughs> We need more cats! <laughs> Acting Queen Egret tells themselves that they can't let these feelings consume them, and instead they have learned to live with them. Okay, well that's good. And she's, unfortunately, her bad lungs are, well, weak lungs are not doing very great. And she has decided to move on from Princess Quartz. 
So that's interesting. And Dawn, of course, died because we definitely needed more of that. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, Commander Sadami, once again, you can only go with Knight Basalt and they are training again. That's nice. Flutter, please don't die the second you're home. No, she actually gets a bunch of fresh kill. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh, how's the... <laughs> how's the... Uh, hello? Queen Snow is thinking about future prophecies with red? Red what? I mean, I'm assuming that's a cat in the, um... Like, outside the clans, but... I'm gonna say that it's more the color red. Just for the sake of it. So, I hope that's not, like, bloodshed? <laughs> well... Aurora has a red scar, or no, well, it's more of a pink one, to be fair. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, Sir Jet almost got lost near some two leg nests. Well, don't do that. Knight Ingrid is obviously trying to set a great example for the younger cats. Probably his many kittens in the clan or the kingdom, especially Tsunami, who has been promoted to commander at your whole new position. Which is pretty cool. Um, she's craving the taste of vole, apparently. And Basalt is visibly stressed about something. I wonder if he's kind of stressed about um, his outside mate. And acting Queen Egret seems to just kind of be off. Mentally. Um, let's see. Knight Ingot picks himself uh, up and out of their nest and begins the day anew. <laughs> a fresh conviction in their hearts. Sir Jet can't understand how an appendage that isn't there can itch so badly. <gasps> no! Commander Tsunami announces that they are expecting kittens. They won't mo be moving into the nursery just yet. And Aurora thinks she'll have a small litter. I... Mm. I feel a bit bad, but I really want to pick Tsunami's kittens over over Aurora's. I'm not going to do it, because that's not what the challenge says. Uh, well, the poll, <laughs> more like. But oh, I really want to pick her kittens above, above her mother's, actually. Huh. You know, maybe I'll... No, I can't. Uh, if it was the end of the... Um... The end of the year, I, I could have uh, put a, put another poll up. But we'll see if Sir Jet has... Um... Okay, well, Sir Jet's mate is literally Tsunami. <laughs> but we did say the first found or... Um... First found or born kitten, so... Actually, because her dad is almost... I'm going to go away soon. I'm gonna have Knight Ingot. Um, okay, well, Commander Tsunami is just eating prey out of nowhere. Uh, Hush Clan border. Yeah, let's antagonize that. Okay, let's see. So we might just get our medicine cat and Whew, our medicine cat and leader. Okay, purring with Knight Ingot against their back, Elder Aurora feels like they're going to explode with love, looking at their tiny new litter of three kittens. And Commander Sonami thinks she'll have a small litter. Oh my gosh, and these kittens are so cute. <laughs> Okay, so we have a bullying little female. Great. That seems like a wonderful leader. And then we have a polite little male. That's nice. And a charming little female. Oh, that is adorable. And of course, we got the bullying one as the uh, as the leader. We have a lot of grey cats here. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, let's actually change their knight. Or uh, er, their, their knight. <laughs> <laughs> their names. Well, this will be uh, the royal queen now. And let's see. Put up the name list. And let's see what kind of names we have. Um... <laughs> the 
the Royal Queen Fern is what I'm gonna name her. There we go. Um, yeah, okay, so she's gonna be named Fern. And this little male is going to be... Uh, prince, I guess? Well, Crown Prince? Crown Prince what? I don't know. Let's see if we can find some... Oh, you guys. Okay, so he's gonna be Crown Prince Cobra. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there we have him. And we have the little seed kit, who's a charming little kitten. And she's actually going to be a healer, is what I'm thinking here. And her name is going to be... Um... <laughs> okay, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna name her Fern. Healer Fern. And then... This one is going to be Cloud. Uh, the Royal Queen a Cloud. Because she kind of looks like a cloud. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it, it's looking better. It is looking better, except instead of, you know, a, um, a one royal, it's just all... <laughs> they're just all part of, uh, part of one family. Instead of being a kingdom, really. So, the only one who's not part of th this is literally just one family, except for Sir Jet, who's the mate of Tsunami, who are also getting kittens now. So, it's all just one family. <laughs> okay, let's randomize. These two are going together. That's wonderful. And Flutter is going alone, but she's fine. Okay, let's see even more kittens. Uh... No! Commander Tsunami had a single kitten with Sir Jet? Okay. You guys, I'm wondering if maybe... Actually, Sir Jet is going to change his mind. And decide that his own kitten is going to be the queen. Or, uh, yeah, the queen. And then these two will be princes and princesses. I think I'm actually gonna do it like that, because he would have personal... Okay, hold on. Is feeling a sense of pride after mediating a difficult argument? Well, I mean, one mediation would be that his kittens should be... I don't know. Mm, I can't, like... Mm. <laughs> I feel like it would fit the story better, but I'm also a little bit hesitant because I did put up a poll. So I don't want to mess with that too much. Um, But I think I will actually do that. So, this will be Crown Princess Cloud. And then this is going to be Prince Cobra. And then this is going to be our, um, our Royal Queen. Oh. I, okay. I mean, this is messing with it a little bit. This is also a bully. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> This is messing a little bit with the pole, but they were born so close together that I feel like it's... Because mm, they were announced, both of them were announced. I feel like it's one kind of event. It just takes off a longer, under a longer time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that, I think. And we do need a name for this one. So, Tsunami and Sir Jet. What are our old leaders? We have Snow, Shade, B, and that's it. Oh man, Raccoon is starting to disappear. That's a little bit sad. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, at least we have cats now. That's pretty, pretty nice. Um, there are a couple different names I kind of am thinking about. I think 
I am going to name her Queen Songbird. Oops. There we go. Queen Songbird. Yes. Um, and it is a bit a little bit of a cheat because these kittens were technically born first, but I don't know. I just feel like the one kitten from the commander and the sir, or well, the royal advisor, would be the one to be a leader. Well, um, the actual royal, and then these ones are the next royals. Then we also have a little bit of a um, lineage built up here, in case our, <laughs> our little songbird does die. Oh well, uh, I hope you guys feel okay with that um yeah i, th I think also acting queen egret you're, you're no longer acting queen you're just a poor little knight now i apologize egret you are absolutely wonderful and she actually wants to explore far beyond the borders of their territory that's interesting flutter and knight basil or basil uh, basalt sorry <laughs> um Okay, well, they're hunting eagle stuff. Egret and Ingot, you two are going to talk. Now, let's time skip a little bit. Commander Tsunami is feeling better. Okay, and let's see. So, we do actually have their secondary little traits now. So, Princess Cloud is knocking over Night Basalt. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, she's a bully and she constantly climbs, so I guess she's very strong. Uh, Prince Cobra asks Knight Basalt if they can help with something. He's very polite, quick-witted, and a great mossball hunter. So I guess he would be a great knight potential commander in the future, although Tsunami's not that old, so we'll see. And Healer Fern is hiding from other cats? No! That's so sad. She's charming, likes to splash in puddles, and she's very confident with words. Probably because she has so much, um, she thinks about them a lot, so she kind of like knows what she's gonna say. I could, I could see that. And then we have our little royal, oh, our royal queen songbird who wants to stay in their nest today. And it seems like instead of being a bully, she's actually grown quite lonesome in her family. I would say the kingdom, but it's basically just her family. <laughs> so that's interesting. And she is curious about Starclan. Ooh, well, we'll have to see where that goes. So let's send out Knight Egret and Flutter. This is a Hush Clan patrol. We're just gonna send them out. Uh, these two come across a small dog. Let's see. We have lore keeping, teaching, swimming, nervous, and righteous. Well, we do have some more kittens now, and I think Ingot would want to protect them fiercely, so we're gonna proceed. And it goes fine, so at least no one's hurt. Elder Aurora? Ooh. Okay, she's finding, feeling fine. Okay, never mind. And Tsunami's leg is feeling horrible again, so that's a bit unfortunate. Well, let's see if we can send out Knight Egret, Knight Basalt uh, on patrol. Oh, yes! No. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it! Okay, well, we almost got a kitty pet, but... It seems like they um, had a bit of an accident there. Um, let's see. No! Egret! Why? You were so beautiful! Okay, well, Egret is dead from complications caused by raspy lungs. That is very, very unfortunate. And I think Tsunami would definitely be very sad. Um, because it was her sister, you know? I wonder, I, mm, I wonder if um, actually Songbird is curious about Starclan because her mother is having a deep connection with Starclan. Well, she has a deep Starclan bond. <gasps> Tsunami, are you influencing your kid to believe in Starclan? 
We're not supposed to do that here in the kingdom. Well, that's quite something. And it is leaf bear now, so hopefully this goes fine. We're gonna take Commander Tsunami and Flutter. Um. Oh shit! No. Uh, oh, sorry. Whoops. I apologize. I just um, got a bit excited there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we will do not proceed actually, because I just realized I sent the commander out with, with her... Well, with her sister. I guess they could have been bonding. Oh well. They wouldn't take risks like that. Um, and Sir Jet is traveling to Empire Clan to resolve some personal disputes. But no progress was made, unfortunately. Um... Let's see. Aurora has gotten green cough, so she might be not living too long now. And Finch apparently is dead. Uh, who's outside the clans. And Basalt uh, can't understand how an appendage that isn't there can itch so badly. I'm actually going to... Now that Aurora is sick, I think I will retire... Um, I will retire Ingot myself because I feel like he would be want to be there for his mate and I mean he well deserves it. He's been having a lot of kittens. <laughs> the entire kingdom is basically his kittens or at least uh, his family so okay well only okay I, I'll, I'm gonna send Commander Tsunami out alone and Flutter, you're gonna have to proceed as well, but it doesn't go too well, unfortunately. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so Aurora is dead, unfortunately, but she did have her mate right there next to her at the very least during her final moon before the green cough took her. And I think Ingot will definitely appreciate the break, finally. And Tsunami's having some real trouble with this bad leg of hers. Okay, so uh, Crown Princess Cloud is loudly complains as Elder Ingot, Ingot pulls them over to quickly groom their pelt. Yeah, and I'm assuming... Yeah, I guess we'll apprentice these kitty cats to... Not their parents, because Ingot is obviously an elder now. But I guess we'll apprentice them to their siblings. I mean, as long as they're apprenticed within their family, I don't think it's a problem. Uh, I try not to... Like, if they don't have any family, uh, they aren't allowed to be apprenticed, because... I mean, unless they're best friends with someone or something like that. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, because they're not sent off to be apprenticed. They're more just their family is training them up. And if they don't have a family, they can't really be trained by anyone. It's kind of what we've been saying. Um, and Prince Cobra dreams of Star Clan for... Hold on, hello? Prince Cobra dreams of Star Clan for the first time? They are greeted by many Star Clan cats, one of them... one of which they recognize as Elder Aurora who's waiting in pride as the rest of Star Clan's ranks accept the new Medicine Cat Apprentice. Well, unfortunately, you're not the new Medicine Cat Apprentice. But it seems like Prince Cobra actually... And he picked something to adorn his pelt. I wonder if his ancestors gave him something. That's interesting. I wonder if he's like destined to be the actual king or something. Um... Anywho, uh, Fern is looking at Commander Tsunami. Well, that would be quite exciting, I agree, but unfortunately you have been chosen as a healer. So, Fern, you will be a Medicine Cat Apprentice, and you are just alone. Crown Princess Cloud, uh, I am gonna change your mentor. I'm gonna change it to Commander Tsunami, because I feel like the Crown Princess, you know? Um... Yeah, I feel like, um, what's it? Heck, <laughs> now I lost my train of thought because I got confused. I think the reason, hello, Sir Jet? Oh, Sir Jet, okay, he's right, okay, fair enough. 
Um, I think the reason why Commander Tsunami is taking Crown Princess Cloud under her wing is because it's the Crown Princess. There we go. <laughs> And Cobra, considering you are simply a lowly little prince, you will, uh, I guess, get Knight Basil as your um, as your mentor. Actually, considering it's well, the only knight who's left. I mean, he's okay. He just has some phantom pain. Well, just, <laughs> but he doesn't have anything life threatening, so that's at least nice. Okay, there we go. And we do have Gila Fern and the Royal Queen Songbird is oddly insightful, apparently. Okay. Gila Fern has become cunning. That's pretty cool. And Cla Crown Princess Cloud is cold now. Okay, well, that's interesting. And Cobra? Uh, is praying that Elder Aurora is safe in Star Clan, and he's very competitive, apparently. Well, he's competitive, quick-witted, and a moss ball hunter. I could, I, I really like Cobra, actually. He's quite the little energy ball. Uh, speaking of which, he's gonna have to go out alone. But I think Flutter, since she is in his family, will go in, uh, is going to take over for now. Although she has to proceed, actually. Despite him being the prince. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Flutter, you are definitely not very honored in your family anymore because you just poisoned the entire family. <laughs> well, she's she has to proceed on every single one, despite her having Prince Cobra with. Unfortunately. Um Healer Fern, at least we have some wild garlic now. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Hilifern, I need to see the medicine cat then. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So we have the crown princess, the crown prince, commander tsunami, and surjet. Who are sick. All very, very important cats. Great. That's, that's wonderful. And at least one of them, surely, <laughs> won't survive. We'll have to see. So, Elder Ingot is caught breaking the warrior code, apparently. Sir Jet has phantom- or doesn't have phantom pain anymore, actually. Healer Fern can't give Sir Jet an answer um, as to why their, their pain is still there. So, they must have put a, wrong, uh, a foot wrong or something. The joints in Commander Tsunami's weak leg is feel inflamed and painful. Man, Tsunami's leg is really giving her trouble. Uh, Knight Basalt is relieved to find the phantom pain gone. Uh, okay, and Prince Cobra has been left weak and barely responsive from the poison, and now they've begun to choke up blood. That can't be a good sign. Yeah, it really can't, and apparently the Royal Queen Songbird has reached six moons of age, and she will now be... Uh, a mediator apprentice to Sergeant. She's lonesome again now. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Well, that is quite something. I guess Knight Basalt is gonna be the next knight, despite him just having lost the tail and gotten a little frostbite nose. <laughs> or, well, the next uh, commander if Tsunami dies. I really wanted to be Prince Cobra to be this commander because he's competitive, quick-witted, and a moss ball hunter. That just sounds so cool. But you guys, we have reached New Leaf. It is a new year and hopefully at least our family... It's not even a kingdom anymore. <laughs> at least the family is looking pretty good. So hopefully next year we can at least get some new cats in. At least we got kittens, you know? You gotta, you gotta be positive about what has happened. And we do actually have a medicine cat, a queen, and two um, heirs. So I am gonna say that today, all together, or well, this year was altogether pretty successful. And if you guys are excited to see even more from this apparently family challenge instead of kingdom challenge. <laughs> then please do consider subscribing and until next year well next time for us but you know next year for the cats <laughs>
I'll see you then. Mm, bye bye.